Well, it's been a several weeks since we did our initial order. And now I actually have it. So I can't wait to open this bag. Hey folks, welcome back to Bike Geeks. So several weeks ago, almost two months ago, we did a video on how to actually create and how to order a Rock Geist bag. Um, and talking with Rock Geist and everything about doing this bag and stuff like that, they're not paying for this. This is all my money. I paid for this myself. They didn't give me a deal or anything. Um, so my thoughts and opinions are solely my thoughts and opinions and nothing else. But uh, I did kind of go back and forth with him for ideas and stuff like that and how to properly order it and everything. And so we did a video and I actually put posting that at the same time as this. So if you want to see what it looks like to go through the inception phase and order this bag, by all means, hit the link at the description or at the end of the video and you can take you back or you can go back there right now and watch the first video. This is part two and this is the actual bag and taking it out. So. I'm looking forward to this. Let's bring it in closer. Okay, so open mind, but I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> Boom, that is all that's in there, right there. So we got our Rock, Rock Ice logo. We have our orange with gray zippers. We have the orange with the blue separation. We have the two different sides. We have the uh, the top that actually is just using the, the stitching, and then we actually have on the down tube, um, as well as the seat tube, we're actually mounting it with the actual fasteners itself directly to it, so we're actually hard mounting it so I don't have straps going around the frame. I am looking forward to getting this on the bike. So we have a small one here on the back of the seat tube at the top, and uh, yeah. So. I upgraded the zippers to the, well, they're kind of a two-tone zipper, but also they're the higher grade zipper. These are actually nice metal zippers. They feel really good, and they definitely are smooth. And that was kind of the point, getting a, a zipper that's a little bit nicer than I've had in the past. Um, like I said, the Rock Ice logo, made in the USA tag right here. Actually, I noticed that on the bag itself, um, they actually had a little made in the USA sticker on the bag itself, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's the, uh, that's the gist of it. I would appear, appear after you get this all laced up and done, uh, you can actually cut these to length probably. That's probably how they have it done. Or you can just probably stash them somehow, but most likely cut them to length. That makes the most sense to me. That way, you, you know, you cause you're going to take up a lot of slack as you go down, I guess. That's maybe the best way to put it. So easiest way to do this now is uh, I guess show the video of it going on the bike but that is the pack pretty awesome okay so I have my bike here I just have it propped against the uh, same door actually when we took our photos to measurement uh, I'm going to take off my top two bag I already release the screws um, because basically this is going to get all stitched up up here and then this can go back over the top of that stitching but I'm going to set that off to the side for now and let me grab the bag So, um, right now, probably the easiest thing to do, let's see what they gave here. They did give us some actual uh, flat screws and some washers, because we're going to need those washers so it actually puts a lot of pressure around here. So, my nice fancy blue uh, cage screws are going to go away. Um, they did give me five, because there are one, two, three on the down tube, and then two more on the seat tube. So, five total um, hard mounting points. I will have to use essentially both these areas probably to get into. There is a Velcro divider in there that I did order with mine that actually you can open up should you need to use it as one big compartment. That'll also make it easier for actually installing so you can get your hand down in there better. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and undo that real quick. So now I can get to all, all five of the screws from the main compartment. I'm going to leave this open because if nothing else just left a little more light in. Uh, but now I have that done. I am now going to actually release uh, the screws that I'm going to have to get into. So I'm pretty sure. Okay, so it's the very bottom cage screw down here. We're not going to take out the these three and then the two back here. That's the, the ones I'm going to take out. So I'm going to do that real quick. Now that, I'm going to also verify that they use the same 
fail in wrench, and I don't think they do. Nope, so number four was for the other ones. I think this is a number three. I'm going to grab that. All right, so a three millimeter. Yep, so three millimeter is what the new screws are going to use. Actually, the same ones that my top bag uses, to be honest about it. Well, let's see what else they give you here. Oh, nice little sticker. Look at that. All right, so... That's it. So we're just going to start putting it, I'm going to stick it on there. I think I'm going to actually undo this top section real quick. I'm just going to take this guy off all together and release all the stitching. Because it's going to have to come out anyway. And I'm going to work my way in a sense, I guess. So. What I want to do, I think, is I want to do the hard points first and then the stitching last. I think that's how I'm going to do it. Whether or not that's the right way to do it, that's another story altogether. But live by doing, that's how I do. So, or learn by doing. One at a time. And basically, I'm going to get these on here. I'm going to get them loose into all five points before I tighten any of them down because you want to be able to move the bag around. Oh, sorry. To be honest, I thought it was going to be a lot more difficult, but it being one big open bag with the, the divider that you can get a lot more light down in there, this is not a bad option at all. It actually works out really, really good. Okay, let me grab a couple something real quick. Okay, so to do the lacing, I decided that uh, I'm going to get a little bit different here. I have not done any more, so these are just as loose as they were before. So right now the bag is actually still movable. I basically figured that I'm going to get this nice and tight up here. Then if nothing else, I can pull the bag down and then stitch the bolts down. So that's what I'm kind of going by with this. Um, what I'm going to do now, and that also gives me a little bit looser involvement up here. Uh, I'm going to loop through this front section on that guy. And basically what I'm doing on the same thing on this side is going through this first section here. And within that, I'm going to just get it nice and about even, essentially, so that the ends are even. So I have about the same drawn on both sides. And that is where we're going to start. And then basically just cross over and through. Pull that guy. And then do the same thing with this one. And now we're just going to uh, lace it up like we are lacing up a pair of shoes, essentially. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go down and start lacing it up, and good to go. So I'm going to fast forward this part. So when I get it back to the back back here, uh, and I have these two here, essentially what I'm going to do is kind of put it here. But I think what I'm going to do is actually bring it around the back into the front. Maybe like this. So I can yeah you know, I still have to get it all nice and tight. I'm just going down the laces right now, you probably can't see that very well. But just making sure it's nice and tight all the way down. And, gonna, and whether or not that's the right way to do it, I don't know if there's a really a wrong way to do this last part. But that's how I decided I'm going to do it just like that. And then, of course, I'm going to shorten these in the end. For right now, I'm going to leave it like they are. Um, but I am going to shorten them because otherwise it's just going to be hitting the tire all the time. So like I said, the last step that I wanted to do is kind of put some pressure down. Actually, I like it just like where it is. So now I'm just going to start at the bottom, work my way to the top, and tighten the bolts down. And... You know, we're not looking for a crazy amount of tightness here, but enough to hold it in place so it's not going to shift. You can kind of feel it when it gets nice and a little firm, essentially, and you can kind of almost see the, the washer start to bend a little bit with all the pressure in there. So, so right here there's a strap, which I should have undone before I got to this point, but that's all right. I forgot. So this part actually stays on the strap so that when you double it back, it actually has something to hold it, hold this thing from flapping around. 
here. All right, nice and tight. And then I can just stick it back through this guy. And that is that strap. I'm gonna go ahead first and put my, uh, my top tube bag, my cockpit bag back on. Let's see how this fits with everything in here. Okay, and then in here, I'm gonna go ahead and put that Velcro all the way back across. If nothing else, but basically what that does is help ties the middle of the bag to together to keep it from bulging out. I've put a lot of stuff in here, so it's handy to have. If you don't need to use the one big compartment idea, keep them separated that way and stays nice and straight. But man alive, is that a that is a good looking bag. So that's the installation. Well, I guess if you watched the first video, the thought process of what I wanted it to look like, to the ordering process to the receiving, the installation. Now, the only last thing that I have to do is enjoy it, use it, and love it, right? Um, I'll be honest, I like the look of it. It actually fits better than the other frame bag that I used to have. Um, I've already, I just put a, like a lock in here right now. Um, I have my, my click stand, kick stand I got in here. I gotta be honest, I like it. Um, you know, time will tell what I, if there's anything I don't like about it. But as honest as I can say, I would definitely recommend the hard mounting option versus the Velcro. I don't miss that. I love mounting it directly with the cage bolts. So that is the Rock Ice Frame Bag. If you have any questions, post below. Head over to Bike Geeks. And, uh, but yeah, I like it. Thanks a lot, Rock Ice, for making an awesome bag. Thanks for sticking here to the end. And if you have any questions, like I said, otherwise like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you back here on Bike Geeks for another future video. Well, review, install, whatever have you. See you soon.